Okay, something you need to fix if you just bought this or you're looking at buying it is something I found which I completely missed. I didn't even look at it, but take a look in here. Okay, pull off your side panel, then go ahead and open up this air box. This only take just a second. Okay, set this off to the side. Now look at this. This is what we want to fix. Now this here is completely dry. They didn't oil this at all. I mean, there is... Now, I've seen other ones that'll be, you know, really dry, but they will have at least a little oil on it. This is like nothing. There's no oil on it at all. So that's something that you're supposed to do when you service these, is you clean them, then you, then you oil them. And it's just a slick coat of oil that goes around the outside. You don't have to saturate it, but I'll show you how this works. So all you have to do is get yourself some kind of a plastic bag that the air filter can fit into. And then you'll take some kind of an oil. Air filter oil is something that they make and you just pour about a tablespoon into the bag. Then go ahead and take the bag and kind of swish it around to coat the whole bag on the inside. Then you'll take your air filter, drop it inside the bag, and then just go ahead and lightly press it all the way around on the flat sides and try to get the edges a little bit too. It's not as important, but mainly the two flat sides, go ahead and press it around, move it, and then you're basically done with that. And now you can go ahead and reinstall it into the generator and we're good to go. Okay, now tip one of two. Now this is something I wanna show you guys inside the manual here that you guys really should read. I've been talking about this for years if you paid attention to any of my videos. But if you look here on page 13, it specifically says here on the bottom where it says note, it will say add fuel stabilizer to the gasoline or the warranty is void. Now, if you've seen any of my generator videos, I always tell you to add this to your main gas can. That way your outdoor power equipment has always been treated. This will save you a lot of trouble because then you don't have to worry about, oh, did I store my unit properly? At least this will be in there and it's cheap compared to buying non-ethanol fuel, which is not always readily available for everybody. For me, it's $8.50, about 15 miles up the road. So I don't buy that, I use this. And for the last 15 years, probably more now, this product has always worked well. I'm not sponsored by them. I just use it because I know it works. And the last tip is when you go to change out your spark plug, almost all of these new units will come with a torch spark plug. I have found that I haven't had very good luck with these as they foul out sooner, they don't last as long, they don't start as well. And so when you go to swap these out, you can still use the one that's in here until it dies if you want, but go with an NGK spark plug. NGKs just still work better. Don't get anything fancy. There's no iridium tips, no split fires, anything weird like that. Just go with a standard NGK spark plug. I'll leave a cross reference for the one down below in the description. That way you guys can buy um, a couple plugs and have those readily available for when it's time to change it whenever you need to. So if it starts to become harder to start, just ditch these torch ones. I just don't have good luck with them and there's probably a lot of other people that don't either. So other than that, I hope you found this video helpful. Let me know what you think in the comments and I hope to see you next time.